you to another special episode of Cousins Outdoors. Today we will be looking at the professional himself, Preston the Cat Ocheski. Going back to the basics and fishing with a worm this video. So let's take a look and see how he did, shall we? Oh for one. Oh for one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, we're using worms today. Worms. And um, I'll show you guys here what I'm using as soon as I get my camera figured out what the hell I'm doing here. I got a shaky head on. Shaky head with just a, I don't know, Berkeley power bait. Now it's only about a 12 or 13 inch fish, but been here five minutes. All we're doing is looking for structure and bouncing around it. Let's keep going. Number three. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That one could have been a bluegill. I just felt the thunk thunk. There he is. There he was. He gets off again. Not a not a slob. Nice fish. Nothing crazy. Yikes, yikes, yikes. It's gonna be a long day if I keep going one for three.
well, this, uh, <clears throat> so this isn't quite working like what I wanted it to. There's the fish jumps. Definitely getting bit. No chance. For some reason, a frog in 20 feet of water doesn't work. What a thunk. So, this thing is not sinking fast like what I want it to. I want it to you know, sink faster so I can kind of create tension on the line and bring it down slow. So what I'm going to do is go with a bigger weight there. Here's the difference. Let me just fall on my way to you. That's embarrassing. We're going from like 3 sixteenths to 5 sixteenths. Let's go with that. Same thing. Chance of not on two, three. Jeez, there's fish jumping everywhere. I won't catch one. I guarantee you. Maybe I should go more. Maybe I should go more uh, realistic. Try this. See what this. I'll keep that in the bullet. All right, let's roll. Wish I had brown egg crawlers. Let's go for bluegill. Catch fish and be happy. Catch fish and be happy. All right. This is starting to frustrate me. Sometimes the fishing's like this. We're gonna go all natural. 100% all natural. All right, here's what we got. Putting that thing away. Here's what we got. Plain Jane, warm, uh, no crazy tail there, just a regular old, it almost looks like a curly tail that broke off, but it's just a dumb little, dumb little paddle tail thing. We're going to Texas rig it. Oh, that's strong. That is strong. I like that. That's what we're running now. Let's go find some structure. And let's catch some fish. Because this is ridiculous. This maybe. This is like a nine inch fish. Ah, woo <sighs> That's horrible. That's not gonna win you a tournament. So today wasn't exactly the day that I thought it was gonna be. But I'm on a very pressured lake. Um Two of them actually I jumped. There's two pretty close to each other. And uh, I jumped ship on one just because I got around it once. Probably a 30 acre lake. So I fished 60 acres today.
just finding structure, bouncing these worms in and around the, the structure. And, I mean, oh, there's, there's a decent one. No, not a decent one. But when you've been catching itty bitty babies, it just seems like a decent one. It's not. But it's a fish. It's a fish. Very, very, very small. Probably, yeah, I don't know, eight, nine inches. <laughs> Felt great. Must have pulled them out of some weeds. Felt really decent at first. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying, uh, fish in a pressure lake, and uh, two of them, about 60 acres. Uh, so I really fish from like 2.30 to, I think it's like 5 now maybe, a quarter after 5, so 2.30 to 5.30 by the time I get done. Three hours of fishing, um, and you just got to find what works with these worms. You know, sometimes they want something. We've already fished this exact lake, me and Tyler, used a yellow jig head with a brown worm that has a neon green curly tail and we caught 22 of them. All of them were about 12 to 14, but it was a very fun day. And now today I was fishing, the, I tried a yellow jig head and then I tried a, a um, big orange jig head with that same worm, that Berkeley power bait. Um, and nothing, I mean, I didn't even, it was horrible. So I just cut out all the odd colors. I just got this plain Jane brown worm. I don't even know what color it is technically. It just looks exactly like a worm. Texas rigged it with a little tungsten weight in the front, didn't peg it. And um, I fished probably, I don't know, 20, eh, 15 minutes with it. And I was working it real sporadically. And now, the last five minutes, all I did, what I've been doing, was dragging it through this little um, fish and drop off. I'm going to the around the docks and play with them a little bit. Um, but now all I'm doing is just ever so slightly, just a few flicks of the ball, just almost swimming it, but just you know, real on the slide, real nicely, and subtle. And it seems like I got. I mean, not big fish, but two fish in the last five minutes. I mean, we just got unhooked that one, and I was talking, and I figured I was about done. And I got hooked up while I was talking, so. Um, you know, you know, kind of have a pattern now. You know, we know that, that this uh, realistic worm is going to work best, and uh, we know that they don't want a lot of flash. Just, you know, Nice work it nice and easy through the water. And you're gonna get hit now, all you gotta do is find the big ones. You know, you're, you're getting the smaller ones. And you're gonna have to weed through those, you know. But uh, just gotta find the big girls where they're at. That about does it for the video today. I mean just wanted to kinda of go over how I fish worms and don't fish very often, not as often as I should. I should get a little better at it, which is why I got a day off today. I'm out here middle of the day, um, just trying to get them to eat a worm. Just you know, I, I usually I'm throwing a frog or I'm throwing a swim jig. I'm a swim jig. stretch here yet and then uh, yeah see if we can get her done otherwise that might be the end of the video
fish. There's a better one. There's a better one. Yeah. There you go. That's what I mean. Not, not, you know. Better. We're getting better. That guy's probably 13, 12, 13. Nice fish, number four. Number three in the last 11 minutes, probably. Awesome. Easy, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. I'm not that way. See, that's what I mean, man. Subtle changes like that is crazy. Just, just gotta be always thinking, always be thinking, and you can catch a lot more fish. Venom's grab. Make him hang on to it just a little bit longer. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Back in the truck, leaving, quarter to six. Uh, so we fished like the toughest part of the day. Fished from two to six, and it was not cold out. It was very hot, and there was a little bit of breeze off the, off to, uh, from the east that kind of kept me a little cool. So I, until I got in the, in the east corners, and then there was nothing. Deadered, and oh, I was just everything was still and. I mean, it looked perfect for frog fishing, but I mean, I threw a frog in a couple spots that I thought were gonna be hot, but it's just looked that way. They, it, I think the water's warm and they don't wanna, I don't know, uh, they're kinda lethargic maybe, if that's the word you wanna use. So we ended up switching it up today, um, throwing a worm for them, trying to get it done. Um, I started with uh, some odd colors and uh, ended up thinking, you know what, this is a clear lake, it gets pressured a lot, why am I even doing this? So I went completely natural, um, just put on a regular old brown uh, brown worm, I think it had some uh, black flakes in it, and um, Texas rigged it with a, I don't know what size tungsten, maybe a 3 16th or a quarter ounce. Um, and uh, I mean, I was I was working it real, you know, real all over the place. I didn't peg the weight, so that thing was just dipping and diving all over, and they didn't seem to hit that. And I kind of getting lazy. I got lazy, and I just slowly just worked the rod very little, and I got hit. So I'm like, well, hey, maybe that's our uh, maybe that's our pattern. So I kept doing that, and I caught I think three fish in the last 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half hour maybe. I mean, I fish, fish every 10 minutes, and I feel like I wasn't even hitting the best spots on the lake. So I, if I uh, if I was still fishing, I'd go around her again, and we'd probably, probably put five, 10 more in the boat, and probably hook into that big one we were looking for. But today's video wasn't so much about those big three or four pounders that um, you're used to seeing us pull up. Uh, there'll be more of those we got we're set to fish, I think, Sunday morning. We're gonna try and find either some big, big largemouth, or um, maybe a combination of largemouth pike, or we'll just go to Green Bay for some for some muskies. So I don't really know what's going on yet, but we appreciate you, everybody. And um, yeah, like I said, this video was just real, real informative. It was meant to show everybody how you have to keep an open mind and you have to be adaptive. You can't just be a broken record sometimes. A lot of times what you have a lot of confidence in is going to work for you. But sometimes, you know, when it doesn't, especially if you're a tournament angler and what you're doing ain't working, you gotta make something work and you gotta sometimes be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And uh, that's why a lot of times we'll fish with worms and we'll fish with frogs and we'll just totally switch it up so we have a little bit of confidence and everything. And I really like this setup that I got right now on that spinning rod that uh, with that Texas rig worm. I'm gonna throw that a lot more, I feel like. Uh, especially in the hot summer months, these fish don't wanna come all the way up to the, to the top for a, for a frog or uh, you know maybe a spinner bait or something. Sometimes they just, you know, it's hot, they just wanna that, lay there and wait for something to come to them and that's when you put that worm right in front of them a lot of guys throw a vertical jig or swim jig or whatever uh, but you know what at the end of the day they eat shad they eat worms and if you can just replicate that on a pressured lake and when it's hot out 
and just natural colors, man. You, it did wonders for me just now. That's incredible. I actually a little surprised that I didn't even have a single strike on something with a goofy color. You know, they're just dumb little fish, and then I go all natural, and I got hammered. And I was only out there for you know hours, so on that lake anyway. I fished four hours today. Y'all hot, miserable. I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Thanks for watching, Cousins Outdoors. Like we always say, when in doubt, drink it out. See you later.